is Casey at the Bodies Homestead and in today's video I just have a short little article that I want to discuss with you all. Um, first things first is this is a little bit of a conspiracy theory type video so this is not your thing uh, feel free to click off. The USDA on September 9th opens up a people's garden initiative to gardens nationwide. Basically, the U.S. Department of Agriculture is expanding its people's gardens initiative to include eligible gardens nationwide. That means that they are literally creating a register for school gardens, community gardens, urban farms, small-scale agricultural projects, in rural, suburban, and urban areas to be recognized as a people's garden. Um, they're saying that if you sign up, you will get benefits and affiliate and all kinds of good communication. And um, they make it sound very welcoming. And honestly, to me, it's just another register. They're literally asking people to sign up to say, yeah, I grow food and raise animals on my property. So they're going to know who's doing what and where. It's a way for them to source food and um, for them to know what it is you have on your property. And I just don't like the idea at all. And like I said, that might be a little bit of a conspiracy theorist type mentality but I don't feel like the government needs to know what we're doing on our property how much food we're providing what animals we're raising how much food we have stored and I know some people are gonna say well you're on YouTube they know already and yes in my case I, I do put myself out there I am on YouTube I show my pantry and my animals in my garden but I'm not on a register. They would have to come find my YouTube channel and come out to my property. Um, I didn't just put the information in there and say, sure, come on down. You know, here, here's all my information about what I'm doing and just throw me on your list and, you know, along with everyone else in the area. So I just wanted to bring this to your attention because I feel like, um, this is just another way for them to lump people into a group and to try to figure out what you're doing on your property. And some people might look at this and go, oh, this is really cool. What a great idea. It's a great way to come together and communicate and, you know, blah, blah, blah. But honestly, there's ways to do that without getting on a government register. Just, just go to your local farmer's market. Talk to your farmers. Talk to people in your area. Um, and just, you know, be a community without the government being involved, you know, um, this has all the information on how to register and they say, oh, it's a big benefit for the community by providing food, a, a collaborative effort, um, you know, and while this stuff seems important for your community, because a hundred percent it is, like I said, why do we have to register on a USDA government website in order to make this happen why can't we just get out in the community and do it why do they need to put their hands in it you feel me that's that's how i feel about this why do they need to get their hands in it okay that's it for this video it was a short one i just wanted to put this out there for people who may not know um and just to get you thinking you know that just another way that they're trying to get involved and be where they don't need to be. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye-bye.